Now we begin tonight with a sickness outbreak at the Columbia Animal Shelter. Things are so bad there. No additional animals will be taken in unless it's an extreme emergency. Tonight, our Rachel Riff explains what's happening at the animal shelter and why this could last a couple of weeks. Dogs at the Columbia Animal Shelter are sick. City officials tell us they're dealing with an outbreak of canine pneumovirus, which is a respiratory illness. They say it's spread through saliva and nasal discharge with symptoms of cough, loss of appetite, lethargic behavior, sneezing, runny nose, and fever. So for now, they're only taking dogs in emergency situations who are sick, injured, or suffering from an animal cruelty case. Michael Sneezik, the general manager of the Animal Rescue Final Victory, says these outbreaks travel fast in shelters. In a shelter environment, it's so easily transmitted because dogs are constantly being moved places, dogs are coming in, dogs are going out. He says he's hopeful this will pass in about three or so weeks. They have it already under control. You know, I was there today picking up three dogs from them, one of which has actually the virus. We, we had already committed to her and she had it, so she's under quarantine right now. Sneezik says he'll quarantine this dog an extra 10 or so days since they have the space to do so. The Columbia Animal Shelter tells us they're currently treating the sick dogs with antibiotics, extra fluids, while being closely monitored by their vet. I know that that decision was incredibly difficult to make, but I sincerely feel like they made the right call on this. Britton Paget is a vet practice manager in Newberry and founder of an animal rescue in Saluda. She says the biggest prevention of these scenarios? By spaying and neutering your pet, you can reduce the number of unwanted litters and decrease the burden on shelters, rescue organizations like mine, and other animal facilities. Rachel Ripp, News 19 WLTX. And according to animal experts tonight, as long as your dog at home is up to date on vaccinations and preventative medicine, they should not be impacted at all by this virus outbreak.